Welcome back to another episode of Backyard Builds. This week, we've already sent the stuff off for powder, so we're going to rebuild our front hubs. So, Valiant, uh, the hub is in the rotor, so we're going to go through on how to pull them apart and get them split up. Put some new wheel bearings in, pack some bearings, and probably new rotors, and tidy up the back pads, paint the spindles, all that sort of good stuff. So, let's get to it. First job, knock the dust cover off. Just get a screwdriver, work it around. Off it comes. Now, by the smell of this grease, this hasn't been done in a very, very, very long time, but it still seems to spin pretty well. For the sake of a couple bucks, we're going to replace with brand new, um, brand new wheel bearings. So split pin first, nut cover, nut, whole rotor will come off, and then we will start to clean this stuff up because it's grease and it smells real bad. So let's do it. So we've broken it down into all our parts now. So we have a tin backing plate, which I just gave a bit of a panel beat across the bottom edge there. Brought it back to where it roughly should be. Spindle or stub axle. So wipe all the grease off it. It's very handy to have a heap of rags when you do this because there is a lot of old grease and stuff. We've gone so far with the car, it wouldn't be right to put these on as they are. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually wire wheel them and we'll paint them black. But just a note, for a handy little hint, when you start to pull like front suspension apart, lay it out in the order that it come off. So split pin got a bit damaged. We'll just get a new one of them. That's nothing. They're easy to come by. Even that Dad might have a few here. <laughs> we'll go and have a look at his, at his uh, assortment of split pins. So Nut cover, well, wheel bearing goes first, washer, nut, nut cover. So that's a reverse order of how we're going to install them. I'll give this a wire wheel now, that backing plate a wire wheel, and give them a coat of paint and let them dry. Another big part of restoration is thread repair. So when you're using old parts, obviously if things are open, like these backing plate bolts, they're going to fill up with a lot of stuff. So running a tap down the hole will sometimes fix that up. So this one here was quite tight before, now it screws in nice. What I like to do, we just get the drill, slow speed, slow torque, run it down in there, back it out, pull the crud out with it. Run it through. So that's nearly all the way through. As you can see, there's a lot of build up in the end of that tap now. Back it out. And then run it all the way through. Now that thread's nice and clean, and our bolt should go back in nicely. <laughs> so I got the hubs and rotors put apart. So I had to knock out all the wheel studs. So what I did was put the nut back on top so it was flush with the top of the stud then hammered it out. Um, and the problem is a lot of them bent. So it's gonna be time to go and get some new wheel studs. Which I went to super cheap, got a trail on. They're not right so they can go in the bin. Not in the bin, we'll take them back. So knocking bearing cones out. I've been kindly lent a special punch from TRT Mechanical to punch the bearings out, or cones out. But as you can see, inside the hub, there's those little, like, knockout areas. So what we do is we sit it in the vise, get the punch in the knockout area, tap it down, and knock the cone out that way. Give them a wire wheel. We'll degrease the inside of them. I'll then knock the new cones in 
and then we'll mask them up and we'll paint them as well. May as well while we're at it. So I'll do the other one, clean them out, mask them up, keep going. All right, Grumpy Garage, this one's for you. New tool of the week is a bearing driver. So these are actually tapered, as you can see, so they're for sitting the races in. So, get it down flat. Before we do that, we'll show you how it sits. So, taper actually slides on to the cone like that, so it gives it a nice flush push. And we can actually hammer it in to actually have a bearing press, but I haven't actually put it together yet. So I set it flat. Then you just drive it in like that. It's just a little trick when masking stuff off. So it's obviously cylindrical. And I just want to paint the edge. I don't want to actually paint that surface because it is where the seal sits. Grab a file. If you run the file just around the edge, then you can peel the tape off and it leaves exactly what you wanted, or exactly what I wanted. Just a little trick. As you can see, now I'll start perfectly. Give it a quick spray and happy days. Got the hubs all painted. Wheel studs back in, pressed in, painted hubs. A little bit of paint knocked off. We'll give it a bit of a touch up. Brand new rotors. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I've already dry assembled these. So I'm going to pull them back apart. I'm going to use some Loctite 253 on our bolts so they don't come apart and then add some spring washers to bolts like that so go through that now then we'll be on to packing more bearings <laughs> we've got a special guest here yeah good on you wheel bearing packer <laughs> there's a right way and a wrong way probably the wrong way but this is the way i've done it all my life this is the way we'll keep doing it Probably a bit better if the grease was hot. You just get a bit in your palm of your hand like that. Get a bit out of there. You just keep working around to your set coming out the top there. See, it, that. see how it's come out? And you just keep working around. Very therapeutic this type of job. So you have to make sure you use wheel bearing grease as well, don't use graphite grease. Graphite grease gets too hot and prematurely wears the bearings. Well, right, I'll leave you with it then. Alright. Alright, off you go. Bearing goes in and, and sits in the tapered cone. What are we going to put in next? Put the seal in next. Probably not how people say to put him in either. Namely my youngest son. <laughs> this was the proper tool that you tried to use. But we'll go to the old method. So you just get a socket that fits in? Tap in. I'll just go a bit more in a minute. We're pretty good at that. Good to go. So we grab the rotor. Upside down, 
just seen it, so just wiggle it on. There it goes. And we put outer wheel bearing in. Then the wheel bearing washer. Then the nut. So I'm not going to do all these all the way up until they're on the car. We'll adjust them on the car. But from here, they get the nut cover with the spikes in it, and then a split pin through. So we'll probably go through how to adjust them when we get them onto the car. They're a type of a car, so not, aren't they? They are a type of car, aren't So we'll just nip it up with the old shifter now, so it doesn't come apart. And put them on the car. Right. So just put the back pad in. The back pad is tabbed on the slide. So it sits like that. The front pad goes into caliper. Get down. So these are the slide retainers, so they're marked top. Top just goes up. Again, just a little bit of Loctite. What's the torque spec? Store as you can get it. Tight. Tight. <laughs> the next bit to mount is this spring that holds. Which is not real easy to get in. If anyone has any tricks on how to get it in, that'd be great. I'm sure Webby will tell us on Saturday morning breakfast. Yeah. There's a trick to it. Don't fit in that groove real good so half the battle. Watch your eyes. So these pliers here are actual brake spring pliers. If you've ever seen them at a swap meet and not known what they are, that is exactly what they are. Way there. That's a... It's just caught underneath. Yeah, that's that. There we go. Alright, I'll we'll get the other side. So that's our front hubs back together for the time being. So ready to go in the car. So, reasonably tensioned. We'll um, put them on the car and do those up properly. Put the castle nuts in and some split pins so thanks to dad for giving me a hand to put those back together and i think that wraps this week's episode so next time you see the wagon we'll probably be putting all this front end in thanks for watching and we'll see you next week